Hello everybody and welcome into the Matt the Grape channel. Today we're going to be kicking off the 1.20 Let's Play series. So yes, every single second counts right now. Let's go ahead and see where we are. Uh, the first spawn looks like it is in a swamp biome, which is kind of interesting actually. See we have a little bit of a structure over there. I think that's probably where, where we were going to make our house. Uh, but yeah, of course, first thing is to grab some wood. This is a terrible spawn. Could have been much better. But we are near an ocean, and since we're in 1.20, maybe we can find some warm ocean ruins that have that suspicious sand. But first, of course, we always have our first day things. Looks like we have a plane, so it's not the end of the world. But let's go ahead and grab some wood. Alright, then I'll go ahead and make a crafting table. And probably a wooden uh, pickaxe. So that I can go ahead and get stone tools here. Because that's going to be very important early on. So let's go ahead and make a wooden pickaxe and find some stone. And there's some stone. Let's go ahead and mine. I think we're going to need, I'll just mine 10 for now, although we are going to need a furnace. And there's some coal. That's actually a pretty lucky find early on because we're going to need that for torches. So my plan is to make our base in like a cliff or a, a hill of some sort so that we don't actually have to spend time mining the materials for a structure. So let's just go ahead and grab as much coal as we can. And hey, two blocks is two blocks. I mean, that's eight torches right there, so not bad about that at all, although that could have been much bigger. <laughs> all right, I think I've got enough cobblestone. 20 should be good for a little while. So let's head back up to our crafting table and craft some stone tools. So that'll be a stone axe. There we go, a stone axe, a stone pickaxe. And I guess, why not, we'll also make a stone sword. So I'm going to go ahead and use my stone axe to collect some more wood. And I guess I'll see you guys back whenever that's done. Alright, I've got about a half stack of wood, which I think is good for now. I also found some sugar cane while I was out there. So let's go ahead and find some food now, because I'm definitely going to need some food here. I could always go for fish. Are there any fish in swamps? I don't think there are. There's an ocean out there though, so I guess I could get some fish, but first I'm going to head over to the plains and see if there are any mobs out here. Looks like we've got some sheep, so I'll go ahead and kill them. That would also be amazing. Oh my goodness, there's three sheep. That is such a good find early on for that bed. It's going to be so helpful so we don't have to survive our first night. We can just sleep right through it. That'll be really amazing. Alright, I'll go ahead and kill all these sheep, and we also have some food as well. And I guess while we're out here in all this grass, let's go ahead and collect some seeds for a wheat farm later. Alright, we've got about seven seeds. That looks good. A chicken here. Sorry, chicken, but we'll make a chicken farm later. Right now, we just need to survive. So, base. I was thinking about making my base out there, but now I really... Eh, we may, might still be able to. I could also really just make it, like, right here. We're about halfway through the day. Oh, my crafting table is probably all the way back there. Let me go ahead and grab my crafting table, and then we will figure out where to go. Ooh, an apple dropped, and some saplings. Always good to come back and check where you mine trees. You can sometimes find some apples, and sticks too for extra wood. Okay, I think we're going to head over to that place that I saw before across the river here. I think it's going to be a good location. Right about here. Let's head in here. So this will be where the base is. Let's go ahead and mine in and make our base. So I'm going to go ahead and place down my crafting table and make some torches with that coal that I got. I'm going to go ahead and place a couple down inside as well as a couple outside because we definitely want to keep as many mobs away as possible. So I'll just kind of put them sparsely out here for now. We can, of course, always make torches through charcoal as well. So speaking of charcoal, let's go ahead and make our furnace and start smelting, or not smelting, start cooking some of this meat. So I guess we'll just use some wood and we'll go ahead and let all of that cook into cooked food. Then I'll go ahead and put that chicken in there. We're going to need a door. Should be easy enough to make a door. The plain old oak door and then also we're going to want to make a bed 
I'm so lucky that I got that wool early on because that bed is going to be so useful. On most of my other survival worlds, I would normally have to wait like multiple days before I'd find enough sheep. So this is pretty good. Yeah, originally I was thinking this was a bad spawn because I just saw the swamp and I was like, oh no. It turns out it's not too bad. All right, I'm actually going to make a second furnace. So we can also make some charcoal for torches. I'll just put about that much in there. And the rest can go towards food. Go ahead and cook this raw chicken. I'm actually going to use doors to cook this raw chicken. Because I don't need them anymore. Let's go ahead and get our food out. Got some charcoal out. Take as many torches as we can. I'm going to go ahead and place some more outside. I'm really not too worried about mobs since we have our bed. But, you know, just in case, might as well put some torches outside. So we're all lit up and safe. Man, I'm really happy with how this has been going so far. Okay. Um, well, I guess we've got extra time in the day. Uh, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. We might as well start planting this wheat farm and go ahead and make a stone hoe. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and place that back. And I'm actually going to clean up this entrance a little bit. Okay, cool. And then let's go ahead and plant a little wheat farm over here by the water. Just right here. I might still need that hoe. I've got nine seeds. And there's our seedy place advancement. And those will start growing, which will be nice. And yeah, sun is starting to set. Wow. That was actually a very good first day. I think I'm just going to go ahead and sleep because I just really don't want to have to risk mob spawning and things like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and eat some food up and then I'll go ahead and sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. And good morning, everybody. Wakey, wakey. It is morning again here in the Let's Play 1.20. So, wow, we're back to morning already. First day went pretty well. And yeah, so let's go ahead and our second day... Man, what's the plan? I don't even know what the plan is here. I think we need to go ahead and start doing some mining soon. I actually have some sugar cane I just noticed. I'll go ahead and plant that down. Because why not? And I think we're going to need to start off by making a chest. Because I actually don't have a chest. And I'm starting to run low on inventory space. And I've also got plenty of wood, so we just should have plenty of wood for basically anything we need. Alright, chest, I'll go ahead and put that down, mm, don't really have a spot, so I'll go ahead and expand a little bit. Alright, base is expanded a little bit, let me go ahead and put that torch back, there we go, and I'll put my chest down over here. So, this is our wooden pickaxe, saving that, people tell you to burn it, uh, sent to, uh, what is it called, it's got sentimental value, so keep that wooden pickaxe unless you absolutely need to burn it. You're going to look back and be like, that was my first wooden pickaxe. Wow. Go ahead and reorganize my inventory a little bit because it's getting a little messy. I'll put that in there. Might as well craft some more torches. Dirt could be useful just as a block to have. And there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and start a mine. I think I'll just... Head down over here. And let's see what we can find on our first mining expedition. Ooh, looks like we found something. And it's copper! Wow, so useful! Just so y'all know, I did make a 1.19 survival series, but we didn't get too far. So I'm really not that experienced with all of this stuff, like 1.19 and beyond. So if I like completely fail at something and y'all are like, no, why did you do that? Yeah, it's just because I literally don't know. Ooh, some more coal, that's always nice. I guess we could have also found a cave. I could have done that. 
Maybe we'll go find a cave later. Oh, and there goes my pickaxe. I guess I'll just have to head up and get another one. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make another crafting table and put it down here in the mine so I don't have to go up all the way next time. I think that might be a smart plan. So I'll just put it there. Sure, why not? And let's make another stone pickaxe. Lots of coal here, much more than the two in that first vein of coal. Oh, we found some water. Should I be scared? I don't know if I should be scared. Can I? Oh, a little bit of a cave here. I have no idea what kind of mobs could be down here. Oh, it's a hole. Oh, that is kind of scary. Wow, that, that. That's a lot. <laughs> so I guess we'll go ahead and block off this water and maybe turn in another direction for now. So I don't really feel like exploring an entire ocean cave. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn this way. We'll definitely come back to that later though. Oh, and of course, it's probably just everywhere. Can I go down like backwards? Y'all, let me down in the comments below whether I should head down into that water. I honestly don't even know. I feel like it would be too hard because it's like, you're going to drown. But then again, I have no idea what could be down there. Wow, there's a lot of water. I guess it's because we're right next to an ocean. Okay, I think we're in dry a dry area now. Kind of nice. What is our Y value? We are at... Y37 already. Wow, that was pretty quick. And I am out of torches. So I think that'll probably be where we stop for the day. And is it nighttime? I don't think so, but I believe we should be actually getting close. Let's see, anything else that I want to do right now? Mm, we got some raw copper. Don't know necessarily what to use that for yet. And some coal, which will definitely be useful. Now let's just make some more torches, make sure we're all lit up properly, which I think we are, but just in case. And I'll go ahead and put the rest of that in our chest for later. I see our farm is already starting to grow. I guess we can go ahead and grab more seeds for our farm. That sounds like a good idea with the little time that's left in the day. I see some flowers over here. I say let's head over and check out these flowers. Looks like we got some roses, I guess. Rose bushes. I'll go ahead and take all those. All right. Let's go ahead and plant these seeds. Over here. I mean, the bigger farm earlier, the better. And the sun is starting to set here on our second day on our 1.20 Let's Play series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, as well as check out Discord, Twitter, Patreon, and Reddit links down in the description below. I think I'll be uploading these videos maybe twice a week. Maybe once or twice a week. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.